Hello. Stop sitting with people. <laughs> oh, okay. Hey, there we go. Say hi, YouTube. Hi. hi. Okay, here we go. Uh, today's topic, this is day two of 2.3, two-step equations. Day two. Hopefully, most of y'all will um, have a better understanding of tonight's homework. It's going to be a worksheet. Show your work on a separate sheet of paper. This is a review, so you should be comfortable with this. Let's go over our steps from yesterday. I'm going to start calling people out for the steps. I'm going to start calling, I'm going to call Lexi first, so she needs to be ready. Lexi, first step, please. What do we have to do with the variable? Thank you. Identify the variable. Gabrielle. Distribute. Get rid of all parentheses. No parentheses allowed. No parentheses allowed. Third step. Vasquez. Simplify. By. Chicken, lettuce, tomato. Or combine like terms. Mm, sounds good. Combine like terms if you needed. And then we move, we start moving two things. On a Carrasco, what do we move first? Okay. Move the numbers together. Get all the numbers together. Somehow figure out a way to get all the numbers together. Taylor. And then you move the variables. Excellent. The variables. Usually the last step is two. Kelsey. Divide. Okay. Reduce your answers. As you do this a lot of times, it's going to be very easy. You're going to be doing this so many times that you'll be doing this in your head. Everything is based on moving, manipulating the equation. So those are your steps there. Same steps. 2x plus 3 minus 4x equals 5. Let's practice, please. 2x plus 3 minus 4x equals 5. You always want to clean up the equation. The equation comes to you very messy. Go ahead and clean it up. We'll do an example of combine my terms and then distribution, fractions, and substitution. Share your answers with your friends. Be careful, no negative variables. No negative variables. Remember, remember to put dates in your notes, 10, 11, 12, so that you know what date this came from. Shannon, you ready to share? Hi, right, tell us the first step. So you combine my terms, 2x and negative 4x. See how I circled this number, including the sign, and she said the sign as well. Combine those together, do you get? Negative 2x, bring down the 3, bring down the 5. Alamine, the next step. Do I have anything else to distribute? No. Do I have anything to combine? No. So I need to move a constant. Which number do I move over? Three. Take over uh -huh. So take away 3. Good. Bring down the negative 2x. 5 minus 3 is? 2. The last step is to divide to get the letter by itself. Divide by negative 2, you get negative 1. Negative 1. Negative 1. Remember that the variable cannot be negative. Therefore, you divide by negative 2 instead of 2. All right? Questions? Should be an easy lesson today. This is the same lesson. Try this one with fractions. 1 fifth x minus 1 third equals 8 thirds. 1 fifth x minus 1 third equals 8 thirds. 
1 fifth x minus 1 third equals 8 thirds. I see some fractions still left in the not reduced form. Fix that, please. Again, solving for x here. I have to add one third to both sides. Okay, Seth, what do I do next? Bring down the one fifth x equals nine thirds. I'm still solving for x here. So then, Ricky, what do I do next? Okay, so I flip, take the reciprocal, 5 over 1, 5 over 1 on both sides. I get x equals, well, I can't, mul I can't cross reduce, so I get 45 over 3, and I saw some people leave this like this. No, 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 no. x is actually 15. 15 times 3 is 45. If you leave it in 45 thirds, it will be wrong. Questions, comments? Tomorrow's lesson is going to be like eight steps. Okay. It's going to be fine. I think so. Negative variables. I hope so. 11 minus x equals negative 10. This has a negative variable when you take away the constant. But remember, if you leave it as a negative x, it will be wrong. So never a negative variable. So then solve this one out. No negative variable. You're balancing the equation. Yeah. Let's talk about it right now. You ready? Okay, Raquel. What variable am I solving for? X, right? So then I saw a lot of people do this. <clears throat> they took away, they added 10. Actually, you have to subtract 11. You subtract 11. You subtract 11. Okay, this is a positive 11, this is negative, so this goes away. Bring down negative x equals, I have 10 negatives, I have 11 more negatives. I have 22 negatives total. Negative 22. Just kidding, 21. 21, okay? There you go. But if you leave this as a negative x, it will be wrong. I will count it wrong. The ones cancel out. Now have a positive x, positive 21. Sorry. Okay. You're taking away 11. That's a positive 11. Let's do uh, two more and we're done. Actually, let's do one more. If 4 minus 7x is 39, sorry, if 4 minus x, 7x is 39, fine. 
x plus 1. If 4 minus 7x equals 39, find x plus 1. If you notice here, <coughs> the, equa the first equation has an equal sign. That means you can actually solve to find x first. Once you find x in that equation, you're going to substitute it in into the second equation to find the solution. First things first, 4 minus 7x is 39, right? Patricia, what do we do first? Can you find your okay, and then how do I balance it out? You Excellent. She took away 4 on both sides. She brings down a negative 7x equals 30. 30? Is it 35? 35? 35. And then you have 2. Divide by negative 7, which is a negative 5. But that is not the answer because we have to substitute it into x plus 1, which then gives you negative 5 plus 1. answer is actually negative 4. Negative 4. My lecture is complete. Look at your homework. Let's do the following numbers. No need questions, though. All right. On a separate sheet of paper, tell your neighbors. Okay. Let's do the following numbers. One, two, four, eight, and nine, eleven and twelve, fourteen, fifteen, and sixteen. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 10 problems. That is not a lot. 10 problems you can do. Okay? But remember that these equations are going to take a little bit of time to work out. Any questions on the homework? One, two, three, four, five. Yes, Two, three, four, five. All right, let's get started on your quiz. Two, three, four, five. You can go and write on it. Three, four. One, two, three. The rest of the period. About 13 minutes, 14 minutes. Need one more? I'll be there.